If you followed the UK media this week, you'd be excused for thinking Theresa May was a freedom fighter and Jeremy Corbyn a literal fascist. Has the world gone topsy-turvy? Well, no, it hasn't. You're just being lied to. Take this front page. On the right, a picture of Theresa May visiting Nelson Mandela's prison cell. It's captioned, May walks in Mandela's footsteps. Now, visiting Robin Island is a big political statement. Nelson Mandela was imprisoned there for 27 years by an all-white apartheid government. And in this photo, May is clearly positioning herself as a defender of social justice. But what was May doing when Mandela was actually in jail? I think you know full well that I didn't go on protests, Michael. That's right, nothing. What's worse, in the late 80s when Theresa May was already a Tory councillor, her party was actively blocking sanctions on South Africa's apartheid regime. All the while, Margaret Thatcher was dismissing Nelson Mandela as a terrorist. The ANC says that they will target British companies. This shows what a typical terrorist organisation it is. Now, who was standing up against apartheid in the 1980s? I.e., when it mattered. You guessed it, Jeremy Corbyn. Now, let's look at the other side of this front page. While May is compared to Nelson Mandela, Corbyn is compared to Enoch Powell. Are you mad? Powell was a Tory MP in the 1960s who achieved infamy by calling for the mass expatriation of people of colour from Britain. Using incendiary language, Powell argued demographic change would mean In 15 or 20 years time, the black man will have the whip hand over the white man. So what could Jeremy Corbyn have done to invite such a comparison? Did he, like Powell, tell migrants to go home? Oh no, that was, that was Theresa May. <laughs> what he did do was in a speech in 2013, describe some pro-Israeli activists who had objected to a speech by the Palestinian ambassador as lacking in English irony. This was dutifully recorded by the thankfully silent Zionists who were in the audience on that occasion and then came up and berated him afterwards for, for what he had said. They clearly have two problems. One is they don't want to study history and secondly, having lived in this country for a very long time, probably all their lives, they don't understand English irony either. Perhaps a clumsy phrase but rivers of blood it most certainly is not. This bizarre comparison made the headlines because it was said by ex-chief rabbi Jonathan Sachs. And fair enough, with a job title like that, you might think this is a guy we should take seriously. But let's dig a little deeper. In 2017, Sachs was criticised for joining the March of the Flags, where Israeli extremists march through Muslim areas of East Jerusalem, shouting things such as, death to Arabs. Sachs also supports Israel's new nation-state law, which formalises Palestinian status as second-class citizens, i.e. Israeli apartheid. Closer to home, Sachs has promoted the death of Europe. A book by Douglas Murray, who, like Powell, argues demographic changes threaten white Christian Europe. In fact, in the book, Murray references Powell approvingly. Are you mad? Bam. This context matters. It's not hard to imagine why a hard-right politician like Jonathan Sachs would try to undermine the electoral chances of an anti-racist, pro-Palestinian politician like Jeremy Corbyn. Now, what do we learn from all this? This front page was on The Telegraph, and it's not surprising that Tory rag would try to mislead the public about Corbyn and May. But the BBC, Sky and The Guardian all ran this story about Jonathan Sachs without mentioning his politics. Later in the week, the Daily Mirror, supposedly a Labour paper, ran a story comparing Corbyn supporters to literal Nazis. Nazis! Oh, come on! This is nothing but an attempt to discredit a man and a movement that threaten Britain's establishment and want to return power to the people. To try to stop Corbyn, the media will literally turn the world upside down. It's fake news, it's offensive, and it's time to call bullshit. Yeah,